buddy. I'm gonna what I'm gonna show you guys now is a walkthrough of this Aniara edge node demonstrator and which contains which is a complete micro data center in one package and where we have two two racks. Yeah, I can open up the doors now and show you what's on the inside. So the idea for that is that this demonstrator will be placed in an outdoor environment and it's waterproof and can run year round with the building with the climate control and the components included here uh, with re reliability and uh, to create a robust, a robust edge computing environment so on the right side here we have 18 dell servers with with a little bit more extra rack space up at the top with plans to also install a GPU server for extra computing power. And if we open the left side of the rack, so this is the IT section, and here we have what we can call the facility section on the left side. Uh, I can go through the different components here. We, the bottom here are, are three batteries, lithium ion batteries which provide uh, backup power in case of a, of a power outage or even, even uh, they can even be used in an intelligent way for peak power situations to not consume too much power from the grid and use it from the battery storage instead. So the batteries are then connected to uh, this Amtec set up here which consists of these rectiverter modules which are now the connection between the batteries and the servers and the grid. These are very intelligent devices uh, which manage the, the currents and you can set different limits of, uh, and, uh, on when, what power source should be used when. So here you can see there's this little, little smart display where they're showing that there's 56 volts on the batteries right now. It looks like there's four kilowatts of power being used in this edge node currently and the status of everything. There's also in this power shell, there's these two solar modules which can support 3.2 kilowatts of solar power on each module. So this, this has support for batteries, solar, and connection to the grid to make a microgrid, micro little microgrid controller. So that's the electrical side of things, but also included here we have the, the brain for the, for the climate control system, the PLC, which is controlling the fans and the mixture of air streams of outdoor air and exhaust air, which will be seen in the back of the cabinet. So that's, that's a quick rundown of the facility side with, of course, extra room here for 5G or telecommunication equipment which will be installed in the future to make this a complete edge computing solution. So I'll close the doors here. We'll take a walk around the back to the back side. And what you see here is two, two intake movers for Pulling in the inside air into the back of this cabinet. Of course, there's there's filter there's filtration that occurs. There's filters that are here, which can also be changed from the outside of the cabinet with a special screwdriver. So this is the climate mixing chamber in the back here, where, as I said, the outside air comes in through the filters. And then there's an option to mix it with the return air from the servers. So you can mix the cold air together with the warm air to get the desired temperature going into the rack of 23 degrees. Of course, here's the three fans, one, two, three, providing the, the sufficient airflow to cool the IT equipment. So these are, these are controllable dampers which are controlled by the control system there. And of course, if you're not going to recirculate the air and use it, 
and push it out to the outside. So, another unique, unique aspect of the cooling system here is that we have this, we have this uh, ability, we have a, roof, a heat pump, a DX refrigeration unit mounted on the top. So if it's a warm summer day and the outside temperature goes above 23 or 27 degrees, which is the maximum temperature allowed for servers, what we can actually do is pass air through the cooling unit and actively cool the air down to achieve the recommended inlet temperature to the servers. Thanks, that's, Jeffrey. That's uh, that's a quick rundown of just the all the different components and um, and how it works. This micro data center, which will enable the future of edge computing, and uh, this is the future right here. <laughs>